Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you may recognize him from the big screen, but lucky for us, he now calls Austin home. We've got Chris Klein joining us this morning to share more about his new movie, Game of Aces. And then, of course, some of his favorites he's come to love and, and, and about Austin. Chris, good morning. Good morning. How good morning. are you? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me on. I'm so glad that you're here. Can we officially call you in Austin tonight? now? I think I, we can. I, I think you can. I think we I think can. You can. We, we, uh, let my wife, Lane, and I had our baby boy here. So Congratulations. Uh, yeah, at least he's in Austin tonight. That's, <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> Are you getting sleep? We are sleeping. Okay, we're we're sleeping good. He's, uh, we're, we're so very blessed, man. He's a, uh, he, he's a healthy little man, and, uh, and, and my wife and him are doing great. So, Wonderful. Uh, we're, we're really, really happy. Well, I congratulate you on all your success in the movie Game of Aces, the new baby. I'm sure life is just on cloud nine right now let's talk about the film um, are you a history buff uh, you know what I I do like history um, I didn't uh, I, I I didn't have um, have a huge wealth of knowledge about World War one right you know especially uh, so our, our film gave a game of aces is 1918 mm -hmm. um, uh, the Arabian desert and uh, and what I didn't know was that there were American pilots in 1918 flying for uh, flying under the British flag for the Allied forces in World War One. Gotcha. Um, so uh, so that was that, that was that, that was pretty cool to learn. A and little history lesson while yeah, you're working. Yeah, and, really and my dad is a big uh, um, aviation guy. He loves airplanes and all that sort of thing. And uh, and um, and part of this movie, one of the one of the really cool things about this movie and why I was excited to be a part of it was because the director Damien Lay mm -hmm. got us back to using a lot of practical effects which is awesome so we we stayed away from CGI as much as we could his whole method was if we can't build it then we can't shoot it wow. uh, so so we had uh, we had aerodrome aircraft manufacturing out of Missouri build us a replica uh, DR1 Fokker and an SE5 um, airplane so we had real airplanes we had a, a replica Model T Ford, which was incredible. And to bring it back to practical effects really gave us that old era uh, Hollywood film look that we were looking for. And it's, it, it was pretty cool. That's so different compared yeah. to when we're filmers going, you know, yeah. all the CGI stuff. That's going to be really a nice treat for viewers to be able to see and be like, okay. We know that's not fake. We know that actually happened. Yeah, I, I think it should be. I, I think it should be really cool, as, as well as uh, you know, uh, the, the cinematography of this film uh, really does um, make it look like a, a throwback from a different era of filmmaking, and right. that's such an exciting thing to be a, to be a part of, to honor honor our history that way too. Right. Was was pretty cool, and then of course to be a part of an action adventure film. That's great. You know, there's no more no more fun than that. Right, I can imagine that would be one of the highlights for sure. Um, I have so many more questions about where you shot. I know we, we got into the Death Valley a little bit, and mm -hmm. but I, I really want to play this game with you, if you don't mind. Yeah, okay? sure. Since we don't get to interview too many people from Austin, uh -huh. you know, who, who are, um, you know, doing great work like yourself and, and out in the <laughs> film industry. So we, we really appreciate it. So I want to ostify this a little bit, and I know Taylor's going to hate me for using that word, but I did. Okay, hey, ostify. Uh, well, yeah, isn't that ostify. cool? Let's Thank you so much. Okay, so we're going to play a game. <laughs> this game is called This or That. I'm just going to throw something right at you and you just tell me which one you like better Go. than the other. Okay? First off is Torchy's Tacos or Taco Deli? Torchy's Tacos. You love a You're a Torchy guy. Absolutely. Okay, the queso's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll try that. Um, Franklin's Barbecue or Salt Lake? The big question. The big, huge question. I, uh, I, I tend towards Salt Lake. You tend towards yeah, Salt Lake? Yeah, because my wife and I love going out there. It's uh, it's really fun to right. go, to go all you, the way out there. And you can play Salt Lake right where you, you don't have to like wait in the huge line. You're That's it. Get, That's right? it. You go in and, and it's handle delicious. it. Barton Springs, as in a pool, or maybe Lady Bird Lake? Are you a pool person or a lake person? Uh, I'm, I let my wife decide if she wants to head to Barton Springs, we go there. If she wants to hang out at Lady Bird, we go there. The one thing I love to do is I love to uh, go do cardios along Lady Bird Lake. That's cool. uh, it's one of the best running trails oh, yeah. that I've ever been on in the whole country. It's wow. really beautiful. That's great. Um, so if you guys are running, you might run into Chris. Yeah. Klein, so if you're no. doing cardio, <laughs> we might be out there. Last question: Downtown or the Hill Country? Both. Yeah, that's Both. a hard one. I agree. Can't decide again. 
Uh, if, uh, if, if my wife, Lena, wants to head downtown, that's where we're going. All the great restaurants they got here. If she wants to head out into nature, we'll do that. You got to get one of those big joggers for your new child. Yeah, you know I mean? I'm, I'm ready. We're, as soon as he's old enough, we're going to hit the three-wheel jogger Sweet. for sure. Yeah. Well, you guys got to check it out. Game of Aces. Uh, this is Chris Klein with us this morning. Thank you so much.